Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Students, today we are going to discuss about an interesting topic and that is distance, displacement, speed and velocity. So let's start with your first topic and that is distance. Now students, what is exactly distance? Distance is nothing but the actual length followed by a body between the initial and the final points. Or in simple words, you can call it as the actual distance travelled by the body from the initial to the final point. So simple, distance is nothing but the actual distance travelled. So students, let's understand the topic with an example. Suppose imagine a person walks from home to a certain point. Okay. And suppose he covers a distance of 5 kilometers. Now, the person wants to go back to his home. Okay. So, now the distance covered will be again 5 kilometers, but obvious. The total distance in this scenario will be initial 5 kilometers and the next 5 kilometers. And that total will be exactly, it will be 10 kilometers. So, this 10 kilometer will be considered as the actual distance. Now, student, you must remember one point that whenever you will consider a distance, distance is always a scalar quantity. That means it is independent of the direction. So, if the person is moving towards the right or towards the left, it does not indicate any direction. It just denotes the quantity or you can also call it as magnitude. Students, distance is basically denoted as d. Now, let's move on to your next topic and that is displacement. Now, again, what is exactly displacement? In simple words, if you will define displacement, it is defined as the shortest distance between the initial and the final position. So, what is displacement? The shortest distance between initial and final position. Students, one thing you must remember that displacement is always directed from the initial position to the final position. Now, let's understand displacement with an example. Again, we'll imagine a person is walking from his home to a certain point. And suppose that person covers a distance of 5 kilometers. Now, suppose if the person wants to come back to his home, Again, the distance travelled will be 5 kilometers. But students, are you observing something? While moving from the house to a certain point, the displacement is denoted as plus 5 and while coming back, it is denoted as minus 5. Why? Because displacement always denotes the direction. And hence, the displacement can be given as plus 5 plus minus of 5 and that total will be equals to 0 because in that whole scenario if I will consider what is the initial position? The person's home. What is the final position after the entire tour? Again it is the home. So hence displacement will be 0. So student what do you observe? That displacement denotes direction and hence it is also called as vector quantity and which is denoted by S. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.